minutes I'm going to explain uh, I'm going to demonstrate web view in Android so first of all let's see what is web view web view is a view that displays web pages and we can implement web view with the help of two methods that is first method is using external URL where you will provide your web address website address and second method is using internal assets where you can download your web pages on your device and that web pages you, will, you can access but now see keep in mind in web view you need one android permission and that permission is named as internet permission now the uh, in this uh, application we will use these number of methods or functions that is load url for loading the url then get settings dot set javascript enable this function we are going to use to make enable the javascript and then we are going to use set web view client this function ok so we will come to the android studio now and in android studio this is my main activity in this main activity first of all i will go into containers because all the views these types of list view grid view web view these are placed under containers so here i will choose web view and i will put it here so don't need to resize it again come to the text editor and here i am going to provide id just type id and then enter and then again enter so you'll, you can provide your id here so i'll use w v w v w this is my id for web view and i will return back to the main activity dot java file so now in main activity dot java file we'll de uh, define the variable for web view so i will use wb as a variable and then i will go to an on create function so in on create function we'll initialize wb with the find view by id so find view by id and i will access r dot id dot wb w this is my id of web view and now with this wb method of uh, object i will call uh, the method that is the or string that is low uh, function that is load url and inside this function i will provide the url that is https colon forward slash double forward slash i will use www.tutorials.com so this url i will pass here and now see every uh, website is using javascript so we have to enable the javascript also so call it w dot uh, get settings and dot set javascript enable and then pass it to parameter here i'll give you now after that again uh, this uh, this web page that we have on this site we have to launch within the app you do not want to launch it in another browser because by default your web view will ask you to launch the uh, web, this website in another browser like google chrome or uh, firefox but we want to access it through the same application so for that purpose we'll call um, the set web view client and then i will create the instance of this uh, web view client again so this way these uh, functions that you have to call uh, you have to use for making the web view if you are going to use external url external address web address so now we'll come to, okay uh, after that i told you that uh, the permission is required so again come to the project and in project in app you have to go in manifest directory you know that manifest is recording everything about your uh, uh, your activity your app so in android manifest.xml under this manifest just try listen symbol and then use this permission it will ask for the permission name so we want internet permission so we'll use it here and now i will run this project so i'll start i'll start it on pixel excel
so this site will be launched your tutorialspoint.com will be launched in the uh, web view that we have added in our application so we'll see how the app will look like Okay, so see now you will be able to see that the output that is we have used the URL itwaspoint.com. So this we can use this we can access through our app. Now here there is no need to use any other web browser. Just everything is launching or everything is everything we can access through the same web view. So this way you can create web view by using. Uh, uh, the external web address that is URL. Now I'm going to explain other thing also that uh, we can. Uh, I told you that in theory that is uh, we can uh, load the pages you know on our device and that uh, that web pages we can access through the uh, web view also. So I will do one modification in this program again. That is I will define one string variable that is URL and inside this. Oh, URL and then I will assign uh, this URL with the like this file colon triple forward slash android underscore seed. Okay, now here the uh, protocol that we have to use that is file protocol because we are going to use the local storage file, local files. So file colon triple forward slash is compulsory and then android asset android underscore asset this is not a directory but it is saying that the uh, files which are we are going to access here web page that is they, they are stored into assets directory so uh, first of all we'll create the assets directory here so we'll go i will right click on app and then i will go to into folder in folder there is assets folder and now in this window click on change folder location so it will take main this is src then main and then uh, inside main it will create access directory and then click on finish so now you can see that everything is okay now assets directory has been created here now i will do one thing here that is i will go on browser because we have to download the uh, web pages here and that web pages we have, we have to store into our um, this device on our app so we'll try to do that here so i will open w3schools.com right and on this side i will go for html tutorial i will right click on it and i will press choose save as and this here I will provide the HTM or I will just provide simply I will provide ht dot html and then press set. Now see uh, this this will be stored into my documents directory because I provided that path here. But before that I have uh, okay it is it is downloaded. Now ht underscore files go to in your directory specified directory and then uh, whatever file you downloaded there okay the file and HTML file and then its directory or folder so I will cut it here and return back to the Android studio here right click on assets directory and paste it here it will press ok Okay, now you can see that in under assets type there is ht underscore files folder and ht dot html file. Now I'll put up this ht dot html here because we want to access ht dot html here. And after this, in in place of this URL, there will be a URL variable. Now. Uh, what's the, uh, what will the uh, remaining things are uh, will be uh, will remain same but one function that we have to add here that is but before that we'll run this project i'll show it to you so 
ok now you can see that uh, we, we are able to access w3schools.com why because we have already stored this page on our device now we can go on other page like uh, we'll go on w3.css tutorial so it is coming on this tutorial web page but see one problem is here here when you click on back button it is coming out of the application i don't want to do like that i want to return back to the previous page so that for that purpose we have to define one variable uh, one function that is on back pressed okay and in this function you will check whether it is possible to go back so can wv dot can go back this function you will call here and then if it is successful then it will call go back function and otherwise else it is going to finish or it is going to stop terminate so this way this small modification that you have to do in this program when you are dealing with the android asset uh, the web pages which are already downloaded and run this project i can do so see if i use other here yeah, like colors and i press back button here it is coming on the previous page that is html file tutorial so this way you can you you can define web view you can define you can link your external url or you can link your existing files with your web view so this is about web view thank you for watching my video if you are